Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to make volumetric fog in Unity using particles so you don't have to worry about if you're on the standard pipeline, HDRP, or URP, or anything like that. So our first step is going to be to make a new folder to hold all of these uh, assets just called fog. And then we can open that up and what we need to do is insert an image which should be in the link below for you. And this is just a simple uh, fog particle. I can open it up right here. It's just a simple texture. And the next step is going to be to create a material for this particle. And we can just call it fog. Then we can drag this in right here and uh, change the shader from standard into alpha blended. And having it in alpha blended, it looks a lot more like a little cloud particle right there. Now, our next step is going to be to create a new uh, game object, and we can just call this something like gray volume fog. And then what we want to do is we want to actually uh, go in and add a child object, which we need to scroll down and find um, yeah, inside effects, and then we want a particle system. So you can see right here, it gives us basically just a sample particle system. And we can go ahead and just change this. So if we open up the particle system component right here, we can scroll down to the bottom and we can see that it has a material. So we can go ahead and drag in the fog as the material we want to use. So now we just have to do a lot of work changing these different values to actually make it look like actual fog. Okay, let's get started with our changes. So the first thing is to change the start speed and we can have it uh, random between two constants. So we can have that zero and maybe two. After that, we can add a few more changes here. So we can do a 3D start size and set it to five, five, and five. So that's already starting to look a little bit more like fog. So that's pretty nice. After that, we can go ahead and go down into emission. So if we click on this, we can change the rate over time and increase it even a little bit more than what it is right now. And yeah, we actually also want a start rotation and we can set it to just be a curve and we can click on the curve. I'll bring that up and we can just drag it all the way down and all the way up. So this means that the curve will just basically be completely random, just starting at any rotation. All right, so after that, we can go ahead and click on shape. Inside shape, we can change from a cone into a box. Now we have an actual box that we're using for the uh, fog, which is more realistic considering we want a volumetric fog. All right, so Let's just scroll down and go to color over lifetime and enable that. What we're going to want to do is add a, another key in the middle and have the alpha all the way up, but then click on the end and turn the alpha down and then also click on the other end and turn the alpha down. So this means that when we're in the middle here, we want there to be a full amount of alpha. So the fog has a little bit more variation in uh, how transparent it is. Alright, this doesn't look bad, but we can move up the scale a little bit here. And now it's starting to look a lot like an actual uh, fog environment that you would want. So if you're trying to simulate the wind or something like that, you sort of already have really great fog for that. But if you're looking for something a little bit different, for example, you just want it to look like the fog is sort of settled over in the air, then you can add to the shape a randomized direction. So now this is going to make just very uh, generic sort of standstill sort of fog. And all of these other changes now are completely optional. So for example, we can also just change down the alpha right here to make it a little bit less obvious that there's even fog right here. And yeah, so I'm thinking that this looks pretty nice. There's definitely fog here, and it definitely looks pretty good just for a simple particle system. 
Another thing that we can do is change the color. So for example, I'm going to uh, change this to more of a gray fog like that since I called this one gray volume fog. And the great thing is we can actually drag this in and make a prefab out of it. So now this gray fog is a prefab and I could uh, drag in another one over here. So now if we have it running, there will actually be two volumes of fog. Let's just wait for it to load to see how it looks. And of course, you can keep on playing around with the values and adding uh, your own fog effects to it and just making some really cool looking fog. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something useful today and I'll talk to you next time.